right, welcome back. Welcome back, America. Yeah, we're back. And uh, Mike Shoesmith, I want you to redeem the time. I think we've got seven or eight minutes left. But uh, you teased us when we went away, and you said that you were going to uh, reveal to us the biggest C I told you so ever. And so I don't have a clue where you're going. In fact, when right. we were talking offline, we didn't even have a chance to get to that. We were right. talking about so many <laughs> other things. So I'm sitting here with bated breath, as I am sure the listeners are. What is the biggest C I told you so ever? Go ahead. Well, you know, the, the, the ever since, uh, you know, Darwin and Freud, society has been tr trying uh, exhaustingly to, uh, to figure out a way to place things like uh, why we do what we do, you know, our sexual choices and, and uh, you know, this and that. Just basically the, the, a, a liberal understanding, maybe liberal is not the right word, but an understanding of why people do what they do based on liberalism, yeah. you know, liber liberal meaning yeah. uh, free, freely, liberalism meaning unrestricted, right? Right. right. So, so, that, so that, you know, you throw in evolution, people are just animals, and everything we do is the product of, of billions of years of genetic drift and so on and, and so forth, right? right. But uh, the latest on that, uh, the latest science on this by psychologists, really does uh, throw a monkey wrench into this whole idea that uh, people are just uh, products of billions of years of evolution. Mental illness mostly caused by life events, not genetics. Are you psychologists? Mental illness is largely caused by social crises, such as unemployment or childhood abuse. <laughs> or too much money is being spent on genetic and biological factors. And you have been, so, you have been saying this for years. Go ahead. The, the psychologists are now warning here that funding bodies like the Medical Research Council have been wasting hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars on determining the biology of mental illness when they fail to look at, at, at triggers in people's societal uh, uh, involvement, right, from right. their childhood on. And this is an argument we've been making for years that this is that it's nurture, not nature. Yeah. And in fact, uh, let me just say, Mike, I was just when you started talking about this, I saw my email light go off. I looked at it and saw where you had sent me the link, apparently, while I was coming on and introducing you. And so right. I've just posted the link to that article at Facebook.com slash Freedom Friday dot Carl Gallup. So people can go and check in, in behind you that you're, you're speaking the absolute truth. This is what they're saying. The title of the article is Mental Illness Mostly Caused by Life Events, Not Genetics. Right. And you cannot read that article without reading the next one I sent you. Okay. Which is a which is a scientific uh, study out of Baylor University. Young people who regularly attend religious services and describe themselves as religious are less likely to experiment with drugs and alcohol, according to this new study of 195 juvenile offenders. Uh, and the study findings, which support a growing body of of research, suggest that young people who connect to a quote higher power unquote may feel a greater sense of purpose and less likely to be bothered by feelings of not fitting in with wow. this researcher. Yeah. So here we have two articles, one confirming we've been saying for years that you've got to stop focusing all of your energy on, on oh, listen, you know, we're just, we're just uh, higher evolved apes, and everything that we do is the result of uh, genetic engineering based on on uh, you know natural influences, and we'll just evolve our way out of all these crises. And uh, you know these these uh, researchers are saying, look, it's time to give that up. Right. And then you have this next article, which is really a a, 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 a um, uh, an, an amendment to the first one, not an amendment, but uh, something that the you should really pair these two articles together. Mm -hmm. That if uh, if mental illness is caused by factors which include abuse and, and uh, so on and so forth. And then we get into this other area where people of faith, people who grow up in houses of faith, have a far less chance, far, far less at risk, of having these mental disorders, having these, uh, you know, uh, addict, addict, addiction problems. Uh, you know, it says here, daily spiritual experiences such as prayer and worship are associated with 
a greater likelihood of sexual abstinence, increased prosocial behaviors, mm-hmm. and reduced reduced narcissistic behaviors. The researchers said. Wow. So when you when you couple these two things, these two basic realities together, you find that teaching people that they're just animals made out of meat is bad. Teaching people that there is a higher power that wants to have a relationship with you is good. Yeah. And this is the biggest tea I told you so of all time. We, the church has been saying this for thousands of years. You and I have been saying this in chorus for the, since we've met each other eight years ago. Drop the atheistic mindsets. Get into a good Bible-teaching, Holy Spirit-led church. Get your kids in there and just get with the program here. Drop your pride. God is real. He's there, and he loves you, and he wants to have a relationship with you and both of you, all of your children. Get them in there. Even Howard Stern admitted this last week when uh, Robin Quivers read this exact same story over the air during the Howard Stern show, and she said to Howard Stern, Howard, does this mean people should start bringing their kids to church? Howard Stern said, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's funny. One of the nastiest people on the planet as he's gotten older is talking more and more about God and now recommending that people take their children to church. What do you think? Right. <laughs> what, do you, what, do, what do you think's going on with that, brother? Yeah, no, we, we maybe the Lord is speaking to him. I, I've been yeah, saying this for I a while. I've been so. praying for him. Yeah. Yeah, I pray so too. Mike, I hear the music and you probably do too. Thank you so much for joining us in your upper respiratory and your squeaky voice, but you're sounding great. Thank you for the information. This is astounding, brother. Thank you. All right. I look forward to your appearance tonight and the rest of the show today. I love you guys. We'll talk to you next week. All right. See you next week. Freedom Friday. Carl Gauss. We'll be back in a moment with Brandon Big B for an hour. You don't want to miss it.